This is a video demo of harvesting and preparation of Peronis longus craft. Lateral malleus is marked with skin marking pen. The incision is just posterior to the lateral malleolus. A longitudinal incision is taken about 1 cm to 1.5 cm long just posterior to the lateral malleolus and it is deepened in layers. Just underneath the skin and subcute, you can actually see both the tendons of the peroneus longus as well as peroneus previous covered by their fascia. Carefully dissect the fascia overlying the tendons. Once the fascia is released, you can easily identify the peroneus longus tendon using a mixed start forceps by passing it behind it and then pulling it. The peroneus longus tendon would be devoid of any muscular attachments near its insertion. The peroneus brevis would be much muscular. Once the peroneus longus tendon is identified, it is pulled using the mixed start forceps and with dorsiflexion of the ankle, little more exposure at the distal end is done and ethibond sutures are then passed through the distal stump of the peroneus longus tendon which allows us to pull it further and detach it as close to its insertion as possible. It's really not required to suture back the distal remnant of the peroneus longus tendon. You can just detach it as distally as possible. After freeing up all the attachments around it with careful dissection, a tendon stripper is then used and then the graft is harvested. Here I am using the tendon stripper and now harvesting the peroneus longus craft. Be very careful as you approach the uh, neck of the fibula where the chances of common peroneal nerve injury are a little high. The peroneus longus has been harvested and now it will be prepared on the graft table. Folding the graft into half gives me almost 16 centimeters of length. Now the graft size will be measured using the graft sizer. If you are using the endo button closed loop, without using the ethy bond, just take the closed loop and then start suturing because then it will be very difficult for you to pass the graft through the loop. Now this is a doubled peroneus longus which is giving me almost an 8.5 millimeters thickness of the graft. Uh, and since the plan is to use bio interference screws on both sides, I have used ethy bond loop to tie the graft at one end and ethibond sutures are now being used to suture the free ends of the graft together which will be put under tension thanks for watching